This video we're going to multiply some monomials. This is page one. These guys, page two, we'll do these examples. And page three, we'll do this example here. Okay. So, first of all, what is a monomial? It's the type of polynomial. It's just um, numbers represented by letters, basically. The nom part means number. Nomial. Another word for number. Mono means one. Um, so the mono means one. But anyway, there's lots of polynomials. I'll just show you real quick. Polynomials. You've got a monomial, which means one number. That's all it means. Just one number. It's an exp it's an expression with one number in it, like five. That's a monomial. Or um, x or b or even 2a squared b that's a monomial because it, it's just one number being added or subtracted basically whereas a binomial would have a binomial would have two numbers okay so binomial would be this 5 plus 3 or 2 minus 1 or a plus b or x y squared plus x y or p q minus r times s so in each one of these cases we have two numbers being added or subtracted see how we have two so binomial means two numbers being added or subtracted um, monomial means one number and then of course you can have a trinomial which would be three numbers Okay, trinomial would be three numbers added or subtracted. Most common would look like this, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Um, but of course you could also have, you know, pq squared minus rs minus t. Or or just seven, 6 minus 7 plus 1. That's a trinomial. It has three numbers being added or subtracted. So these are trinomials with three. So just fancy words that really mean one number, two numbers, three numbers. Okay. Anyway, on to the examples. Negative 4x squared times x or times 8 and then t uh, x to the power of 5. So to multiply that, we'll first multiply the numbers. Negative 4 times 8. Negative times positive gives what? So we'll do the sign first. What's the sign? A negative times positive is a, a negative, right? Then we'll do the coefficient, the number in front of the letter, the coefficient. So 4 times 8 is 32. So we got that part down. All we have to do with now is the x squared times the x to the power of 5, right? Um, so, you know, it might be nice, I think the easiest way to do it is just to remind yourself of what x squared actually is, right? It's x times x. 2x is being multiplied. So what's x to the power of 5? What is that? x to the power of 5 is what? It's 5x is being multiplied by each other. See them? So just write that out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x times x times x times x times x. 5x is being multiplied. So <coughs> if we have I'm just going to write all this out, just this one time, just so you can see. But I've got 32 times x times x, and then 5 more x's here. See that? So it's negative 32, and then 7 x's being multiplied. What's a simpler way of writing 7 x's being multiplied by each other? x to the power of 7, right? x to the power of 7, right? So, uh, let's do this one now. We've got negative y cubed times 5y to the power of 4, okay? So, let's start with the sign. <coughs> it's a negative time number times a positive number. Negative times positive gives what? Gives negative, right? And the only coefficient we have is 5, right? If you want, you can think of this as negative 1. That's a negative 1y squared. You can or y cubed. y to the power of 3 is y cubed. 
So we really have negative 1 times positive 5, which gives negative 5, right? So we write down the coefficient, you do, you do that first, right? Now to deal with the y's, you've got a y cubed here, okay? And just remind yourself, y cubed is how many y's been multiplied by each other? 1, 2, 3. y times y times y, right? And y to the power of 4 is how many y's been multiplied by each other? 4 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4. See that? So we have 3 y's here being multiplied by 4 y's over here. How many y's is that all together? And again, I'm just going to write them out just for fun. I mean, you don't have to write, do all this writing, but I just want to make it crystal clear to everybody that we have 7 y's being multiplied by each other. So the answer is negative 5 y to the power of 7, right? Negative 5 times y to the power of 7, that's the answer. So with this one, negative a times negative a, write down the answer. What do you think it would be? Okay, so just try it. Write it, write it down, negative a times negative a, write down the answer. So the answer is a squared. Okay, now let's look at this. You could think, there's lots of ways of doing it, thinking of this. It's negative times negative, that gives positive, and a times a gives a squared. You could also think, look, this is negative 1a times negative 1a. I mean, it's up to you. Whichever way you want to think about it in your brain, that's fine. Whichever way works best. It's good to see all ways so you understand it properly. But negative 1a and negative a are the same thing, right? It's like one apple is the same thing as an apple. One banana is the same thing as a banana. Taking away one apple is just like taking away an apple, right? Taking away one banana is just like taking away a banana. So if I take away a cherry, that's like taking away one cherry. So negative C equals one C, right? Or a pineapple is the same thing as having one pineapple. I have a pineapple on the table, or I have one pineapple on the table, it's the same thing, right? So you can use the coefficients of one, just need to understand that there, that, 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 that can be put there. So negative one times negative one is positive one, and a times a is a squared. Okay. So either way, 1a squared, a squared, uh, all the same thing. Positive a squared. So all of these are three ways. And of course, this is the most common way of writing it, just a squared, because it takes up less ink. So the simplest way is just to write a squared. But that's the same thing as 1a squared or positive a squared or whatever, right? But uh, we, we'll just, you know, easiest way of all, a squared, that's the answer, right? Okay, so uh, write this one down. Negative p times p, multiply it, give the answer. negative p times p. So the answer is, have you got it? Negative times positive is a negative, p times p is a p squared. It's negative p squared. And I'll just go over the coefficients. I mean that's a negative 1p, that's a positive 1p. Negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. p times p is p squared. So it's negative 1 p squared, or which is the same thing as p squared. Okay, But the easiest way, or sorry, negative p squared. So the easiest way to write it is just negative p squared, right? Now page two, I've got three monomials, three numbers basically, being multiplied by each other, okay? So I'm gonna go with the, gonna go with the um, coefficients first. Negative two times four is what? Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, right? Negative 8. And negative 8 times 10 is what? Negative 8 times 10? Negative 80, right? And now we'll work on the z's. I've got a z squared, which is z times z, zz, right? I've got another z here, there's just one of them, okay? Then I've got z to the power of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 z's been multiplied by each other. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 z's been multiplied. Right? You can write them all out if you like, but 
I mean, I'm just going to write it all out just for the fun. You don't have to do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 zines being multiplied. Okay, and that is then obviously negative 80 times z to the power of 9. Okay. So, any case, you don't have to write all this out, but, but I just wanted to make it crystal clear that that is the case. If, if you start messing up these little steps here, then it, the, with the problems we're going to look at later, you're really going to mess them up. So, you need to you need to get all these right, and you need to, I want you all to feel that this is easy, and you can write it out, and you're comfortable with it. Anyway, press pause, write this one down, and do it yourself. It's a negative 5b times 2, 2b to the power of 4 times a negative 3 b cubed. So press pause, write it down and do it yourself. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll go over it now. So negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And negative 10 times negative 3 would be positive 30. Other way of doing it is, look, Negative times positive times negative, you know, that's going to give it a positive number, right? Positive number. And then 5 times 2 is 10 times 3 is 30, so positive 30, right? Then we have a b here. Here we have a b to the power of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And here we have a b cubed. 1, 2, 3. How many b's are being multiplied? 1 and 4 is. 5 and 3 is 8. So positive 30 times b to the power of 8. Or just 30. I say 8, not cubed. 30 b to the power of 8. Right? Okay, let's have a look at these two examples. I'll, we'll go over this one with you and then you can press pause and try this one yourself. So we've got negative 7 and this time instead of just having one type of letter we have two different types of letters. Okay, And they're not like terms. So they're different types of letters, obviously. So we'll just multiply the A's times the A's and then the B's times the B's, right? But anyway, first of all, we'll start off with the coefficient. It's a negative 7 here times this. And if you want, you can think, look, the coefficient here is 1. You don't have to put that in. But, I mean, obviously the coefficient of the answer is going to be negative 7. Okay. Now, if we look at the A's, we've got an A here. And we've got an a cubed here. One, two, three, right? So in our answer, we're going to have negative seven times an a, and then times one, two, three more a's, right? So that's four a's altogether. And then we can look at the b's. We've got a b here. That's a b. And we've got a b squared. Two more b's. So we have three b's. B, b, b. Okay. And we always write the answer in alphabetical form. Think of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E. So we always put the A's first, then the B's, just because that's how they, they do it all over the world. But it doesn't make it wrong to put the B's and then the A's. It's just that it's just common practice to do the, the A's and then the B's. Anyway, so there's four A's, A to the power of four. There are three B's, that's B to the power of three. And then that's it, that's the answer. Negative seven, A to the power of four times B to the power of three, okay? So press pause, write this one down and do it yourself. It's negative 4 times a squared b and then times negative a b squared. Press pause, write it down and do it yourself. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'll go over it now. Starting with the coefficients, we have negative 4 here. So if you haven't done so yet, please press pause and try this yourself. So with the coefficients we have negative four here, and if you want this is negative, but it, it could also be you could think of it as negative one. Okay. Now negative four times negative one is positive four, right? And let's have a look at the letters now. We've got a squared here, that's two a's, right? And then here we have another a, right? So three a's are being multiplied, right? Look at the b's. We've got a b here, and then we have a b squared over here. Okay, b b. Notice that in this case, when the squared is applied to the a, look at that. There's two a's and then just a b. See that? 
where over here the square root is applied to the b. That means we've just got the 1a and then two b's, bb. So just watch out for the exponents because in this case it was just applied to the a, in this case it was just applied to the b, right? Just an interesting uh, thing to notice. Now we've got four, positive four, three a's times three b, so that makes four and then 3a has been multiplied is a cubed, a to the power of 3, 3b three has been multiplied is b cubed, b to the power of 3, okay? Now the last example on page 3, we'll try to do this one, in fact you can try it, why don't you press pause and try it yourself? Watch out because we have three types of letters here, we've got x's, y's and a z over here, okay? So it's 5x cubed y times negative 20xy cubed times 4xyz. So multiply all of those monomials, all those numbers, and write down the answer. Okay? Press pause on the video and try it yourself. Okay, I'll go over it now. So 5 times negative 20 times 4. Let's do the coefficients first. 5 times negative 20 is negative 100, right? Negative 100. Then we've got to times that by 4 and that's negative 400, right? Or you could go 4 times negative 20 is negative 80, negative 80 times 5, negative 400. Okay. Let's look at the x's. We've got x cubed here. x, 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 x cubed. There's another x over here and there's another x over here. That makes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's being multiplied. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm just writing it all out longhand just so everybody can see. Doesn't mean that you have to write it all out longhand exactly, but but this is a definite way of getting it right. So y's, we've got one here and then y cubed. We've got 1, 2, 3, and then y, here's another one. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 y's, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 y's, and z's, how many z's? just the one z, right? There he is. Okay. So we got negative 400 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's. That's x to the power of what? 5. And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 y's. That's y to the power of 5. And then we just have a z. Okay, so that's the answer there.